printers are an essential to home office setups, especially if you're like us who actually work from home and are printing a lot. However, this can be an expensive venture and a trip to your local off license with a scanner could sometimes be the cheaper option. However, with the introduction to the EcoTank design from Epson, this could completely eliminate that problem. Now, Epson state that the printer, although more expensive in its initial purchase, is going to cost you much less in the long run to traditional printers. This is because the Epson ET2650 uses ink tanks rather than traditional cartridges. Epson quote that the full tanks will be able to give you prints of up to 4,500 pages of black and 7,500 pages of color. Now, that's only 0.008p in the UK per monochrome sheet and 0.0048p per color sheet. That's an astounding figure if you ask me and one that almost feels like it sits on par with those giant printers that you'd usually find, I don't know, in like an office somewhere. Be warned though that a good amount of ink will be required to initialize the printer so you won't get that until you purchase your first set of inks separately. Now the whole unit sits at around 12 by 18 by 21 inches and would easily sit on a desktop setup. It's not very big all things considering. The tanks can be found underneath a hood on the right hand side keeping them out of the way. There's a transparent section where you can actually physically see your ink levels rather than relying on the software to tell you that your ink is running low. Now on the front is a 1.4 inch monitor and a few buttons so you can navigate menus easily and get through your setup process with ease. So the paper is actually fed through the actual back of the printer uh, and can hold up to 100 pages and printing then spits them out of the front on this 30 page tray right here. However, I felt that these two areas in particular were a little flimsy as this does pop up like that. Uh, and I'm not sure if it was down to our model, but the rear printer tray kept coming off of its runs and I had to keep snapping it back into place. Now, it's not the best build on either of these two sections. They do fold in uh, if you're not storing paper in them to minimalize the space this printer does take up on your desk. As you can see, they all fold away quite nicely. Now, connectivity is also pretty good as well with options for a USB connection directly to your desktop, Wi-Fi if you're printing from a laptop, and even the chance to use various apps on a mobile device like Google Cloud Print, for example, and Epson Connect. On top is a scanner which can only handle one page at a time. In a home office, this is more than enough and there is no automatic document feeder if you're wanting to scan or copy multiple page documents. Now there's also no auto duplexing either, so you're not gonna be able to print on both sides of a single piece of paper. The scanner will scan images at 1200 DPI by 2400 DPI. There is an SD card reader so you can print your documents or even photos directly from an SD card, which is a very nice feature and saves you from having to turn on your machine, but there is no USB input for memory sticks or external hard drives. Setup was fairly straightforward but make sure you set aside some time. The initialization of the actual printer took a good half an hour and it wouldn't let me do this unless ink was already inside the tanks. Now the ink was nice to install and required a little squeeze of the bottles to get all of the ink into the tanks. It didn't just pour out like some ink bottles do. Now I only spilled a tiny amount so no real mess at all. I installed the printer directly onto my laptop so I avoided any USB connections and it worked first time. Epson installed the driver onto my machine which allowed me to print from inside programs like Microsoft Office and PDF Viewer. There's also something called Scan2 which is Epson's interface for scanning documents. It's a simple software with two different options, simple or advanced. I use simple for absolutely everything I scanned and the quality came out pretty decent. One thing I did find though is that the Epson ET2650 had to be turned on to use the scanner. No big deal as most of the time I was sitting at my desk anyway. It would have been nice if the, uh, the actual scanner itself could detect that my computer wanted to scan a document and just automatically boot up. Uh, it would have been nice just to have everything kind of auto detect what I was doing on my computer. Now Epson claimed that the ET2650 can print around 10 pages per minute in monochrome and around 4.5 in color. I was quite happy with this speed as I'm not really an urgent printer. I don't need to get documents across the office in record time. It's just me here. Uh, photos, however, did take considerably longer, especially if you're printing onto Epson's photo paper. However, the worst thing I can see when printing your photos is the fact that it's unable to print borderless images. A little frustrating when you're going to be sticking the pictures into frames to display around the house. So the actual quality of prints is pretty decent too. Even when using smaller fonts on something like a Word document, gradients in color will also handle pretty well with very little banding in the actual image itself. 
The best thing about this though was the photo quality it could produce. I used a maximum quality preset inside of the settings menu and although it did use more ink, uh, the quality was definitely worth it. Again, the borderless finish was its biggest drawback. You will have to use some kind of border inside of a photo frame just to give it give that photo its final touches. In conclusion, the Epson ET2650 can print pretty inexpensively if you're going to be using it as a home office printer. Photos, not so much, but that's really to be expected as the amount of ink used is significantly significantly increased. That ink refills come in at around £36 for a complete set, which in uh, my opinion is very cheap for the amount of prints that you actually get from the printer. You can't print borderless photographs unfortunately, but the quality that you get from them is absolutely wonderful. Easily a print uh, you could be proud of and display in your home. Now the printer itself can be found online for a, a variety of prices, which is very very odd but we found it for as little as 199 from some retailers so thank you very much for checking out our video review of the epson et2650 uh, eco tank printer if you enjoyed this review then do click that like button please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos and also let us know in the comments below if this type of printer is something that you would have in your home or you would go for if you're if you're working from a home office go for one of those laser printers or i think they're called laser printers the giant ones uh let us know what you think of the printer in the comments below as i say thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video